Let me begin by asking you a complicated, mind-boggling, a very difficult question. How many of you think that uh, water is necessary for life? Just to ensure it. Mind-boggling. Thank you. Mr. President, uh, dear Toastmasters and uh, our today's guest, construction of dam uh, to overcome the water crisis in the country is no longer a big use. A non-stop advertisement from print and electronic media said it all to us. As a result of this, small donations are pouring in from individuals and organization as an indication of a warm response to the cause. It seems that we all agree. Why shouldn't we be? As you have and raising showed that we all need water since water is life. And who doesn't need uninterrupted supply of water to the home? But when it comes to the dam as the only panacea to overcome the scarcity, I'm afraid that we are hardly right. Is the dam project the only uh, is the dam project is the only need to address the water issue in the country? It seems that the international investors and donors are not convinced. Even the dam champion in the world, our all-weather friend and our newfound Masiha, China is refusing to help us in this particular endeavor. Their reservations and reluctance is not without justification. World Dam Commission, an international organization on dam, says that dam projects average suffer 98% of cost escalation. To put it simply, the actual cost of the dam will be beyond our wildest imagination, an amount we may not be affording as a state. Danish Mustafa, a professor in International uh, University of London on water resources, raised serious objection about the planning and the structure of the dam based on geotechnical survey. He said that we do not know the completion date, we do not know the exact amount of the estimate of the dam, and above all, the proposed site is being constructed in an area which is seismically active. Hassan Abbas, another expert, says that when looking the water sector in the country, quantity is only one dimension. The other area of concern which needs our urgent attention is distribution, management, and utilization of existing water resources. Dear colleagues, the world worships water and preserves it. In Hong Kong, for example, the wastage of water, even it's coming from an air condition as an offense. But facts, data, and figures in our water resources telling us a total different story. To begin with, as we speak, there is no legislative framework to address the surface water and groundwater extraction. Believe it or not, it took us 70 years to draw our first ever national water policy this year. Interestingly, the world dam has not been mentioned even a single time in its all 33 policy objective of their document. Secondly, we are heavily dependent on water intensive crops and we are not ready to change the course despite the evidence on the contrary. In Mastung area, the apple orchard, for example, remained thirsty even after drinking the whole Indus River. But there is no climate change adaptation policy over here. Thirdly, the political economy of water makes make it very difficult in a country which is sharply divided on ethnic line. Water record 1991 has been home. Not because water is not there, it is because there are certain 
issues with the distribution, illegal selling of water, business of hydrant, leakage in the water system, and these problems will remain there. Even a very big dam out there has been built and filled with water. Thus, looking a dam approach, I think, is, is a very uh, uh, wrong way to start or to address the thing. But the question is, why we are supporting dam issue unabashedly? The short story is, there are some certain inherent issues in our collective psychology. Land bridge, land bridge, a professor in international development at Oxford University says that when policy makers uh, need the support from the people, they usually withheld certain information about something for some time, so that they, they, I mean, they could they could lay out the people from their side. Why such tactics work? Because we are biologically hardwired to believe in emotions, rhetorics, and propaganda, when most of the time it is not good for us. We have our personal biases. Certain external factors reinforce those biases. For example, media does not gives, uh, gives us a very biased way about, about the things and manufactured facts for us and nudge us subtly to, to believe their point of view. Now, over here I hasn't to add that everyone, including uh, Asghar and their has referred opinion, is also have been included in this whole scenario. Here is the deal. We need to come up with a systematic and comprehensive approach by taking all relevant bodies and not letting the privileged opinion of elite class to impose us to find out a way out of our water resources. Otherwise, believe me, even the best marketing strategy does not, so, does not sell a lousy product. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Master.